What it do, everyday people, man? It's your boy PJ. Today we back with another lit video. We back in the confessional, and yes, we staying lit, big dog. Shout out to my everyday people who rock with me every day. Shout out to my homeboy, Lucky Wheels of Deals. He keeps it lit. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section. Now, I want to give y'all a little pre-warning that this does have some, some content that might be triggering, okay? So if you are triggered by domestic violence, uh, you don't have to watch this one. This one's not the one for you. If you want to sit back, listen, cry, console, and, you know, be at one with this lady check out the content i'm sure um a lot of you will get a lot of good information maybe it'll help you maybe it'll hurt you maybe you know do what it do let's get into he it beat my ass when he got really drunk one night i forgave him yep i did because he had me believing in that he didn't realize what he had done it was the alcohol like he he just didn't he had no recollection of what he did especially after his parents gave me that whole this is not my son my son would never do anything like that like this is not his behavior and i believed it i did i believed all of it fast forward to my 30th birthday he took me to greece my man took me to greece like it was supposed to be this pet spectacular like birthday trip like oh my goodness he took me to Greece like it was supposed to be that instead I found that he's been using his job as a human resource officer in the military to dig into my personal life family addresses medical records the whole shebang y'all this man had a whole file on his phone of my personal information he was tracking my phone he even compiled photos in some like creepy timeline of my life before he met me i can't even make that shit up i cannot even make that shit up while we were in greece i called his dad because he got arrested by the greek police we'll talk about it dad what was happening the whole situation what was going on his dad told me he said bria bria you have to focus on getting home safely don't make him angry just focus on getting back to germany safely and when you get back you have to stop dating my son excuse me what it was at that moment that i realized that his parents knew a lot more than they revealed in the beginning a lot more to him and his situation than, than, than I could ever imagine. So now we're back in Germany. On the drive back, I confronted him and I told him that I knew everything that he had done. I knew everything. I knew that he had been tracking my phone. I saw the file of all my information. I saw everything. He snapped. He started hitting me and I tried to get out of the car. When I tried to get out of the car, he accelerated in the gas and dragged me with the car. I reported him, but he hit back with, threatened to tell all of my personal information, all the stuff that I like opened up to him while in our relationship to my chain of command. And then him and his buddy had the nerve to accuse me of assault. And I was the abuser and on the brink of losing my 13 year military career. I fell into this deep depression. I didn't know who I was anymore. But then I decided there is no way in hell that I'm gonna let these men destroy me. I shared my story on my social media, hoping that someone could help me. And five days later, I was retained in the military. I did, had no idea that this was going to start all of this, but it gave me so much strength to continue to tell my story. Then I found out that my abuser, Bobby Giles, had a history of violence. DUIs, three of them, as a matter of fact. But because he was such a good leader and was so well liked, those incidents miraculously disappeared. Now, I'm sharing my story, talking about domestic violence, the lack of leadership, military injustices. For the past two years, I've been trying to fix all of the damage that he has caused, refusing to be silenced, crying, my heart is to get my voice back. I had my information this whole time. Yeah. I asked you, did you know it's funny? You know no, it's funny? I didn't have it this you whole want, time. No, no, you didn't. I just had because it. The other, every single thing's been recorded. Bobby. <laughs> How getting my ass beat ruined my career. I've been talking about my experience with domestic violence for quite some time now. I posted my original video a, a few months ago. I started sharing certain things on YouTube and my Instagram and TikTok. And I used my social media to do that. Was it conventional? No. I was gonna do anything in my power to get assistance. And I did. And I was retained in my job. I was able to move. I was given a rehabilitation move where I was able to pick where I wanted to go. The one thing that I did not do or did not share was everything. I didn't share everything. I can't share everything. Originally, when I posted the story, it's because I needed help. I needed assistance. What I was dealing with was absolutely insane and it wasn't making sense. And so I was just trying to put out and give as much information as I could. I was in a position where I was losing my job. 
and it just wasn't making sense. And so I decided to share it in efforts to get help, get assistance, make sense of what was going on, make certain people aware of what was going on. And it did that and I was retained in the military and the person was kicked out of the military. There was so much that happened in between that. There's two reasons why I want to tell everything. One is because I want to get over this. I want to heal. I want this. To, I want to overcome this and heal and just like let this stuff go and just put it all out there, be as vulnerable as I can and just push it out there and put it out. It might be three. I want to bring awareness to to these situations. I'm in the military, so I want to bring awareness of these type of situations and how it affects people hold people accountable, and I also still want answers. How this happened in this way? Maybe it helps somebody, maybe it doesn't, maybe it just helps me, but I'm just gonna put it out there and just leave it out and be done. I wanna let it all out. I wanna talk about the things that I did, the things that I didn't do, the things that I've learned, the stuff that I've been made aware of, and I'm just gonna tell everything. I was in a relationship with a abuser, an actual narcissist. We were throwing around a, that term narcissist for quite some time, right? It was, oh, he's a narcissist, but I didn't know what that meant until I did. I've never experienced any relationship like this. This was the most ridiculous <laughs> I've ever experienced in my life. It affected me physically, it affects me emotionally, spiritually, and then my career. My career is I'm going to make this a series of videos, I'm going to put everything out there from how I met him, how he portrayed himself in the beginning, some of the red flags that I ignored, you would have thought I was colorblind. What I told myself to combat some of the, 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 the doubts that I had and where I fell for somebody that I thought loved me and he beat my ass. I fell for it. Love bomb me was abusive, both verbally, physically, how it resulted in me being pushed out of a car and dragged with his car. When him and his friend conjured up a story to try to cover up for his abuse, how some of his co-workers and the leaders tried to cover up for his actions, how I had to go to social media to even get some get some answers, some of the things that my boss did and as a result, how I was fighting for my career as I was fighting with being assaulted, how it's affected me today, mentally, right? Basically how it's almost two years later, how being physically assaulted still affects me today. One thing for certain, two things for sure. I'm gonna state facts, nothing but facts. Facts. If it's an allegation, I'll let it be known, but we're gonna stay away from allegations. We're just gonna stick with the facts. The truth has been my defense. I have evidence that can attest to it, messages, emails, conversations, other people, okay? One that I know personally close and near and dear to me, they know the truth, they know what I dealt with, they know how I had to pull myself out of the depression that I was in. They, this Bria that you see here was not the Bria then. And they can attest to that. I'm, I'm not gonna use names just because I'm not gonna use names, but I have already named my abuser. His name is already out there, so I'm gonna use his name. My abuser was kid out of the military. And the truth is, if I was gonna be known for having to expose myself and, to, and, and speak out about my situation publicly, he was gonna be known for assaulting me, period. There's a lot of things that are embarrassing that I'm embarrassed of. I accepted the things that I went wrong, where I went wrong. I'm not ashamed of them. I just have accepted it. And I've, I've, I've learned to forgive myself from that. A lot of the stuff is still is still pending. Like my career, the career stuff is still pending. I don't know what's gonna happen with my career. I have absolutely no clue what's gonna happen with my career. I'm in therapy already, but child, I just need to get it out. Every therapist I've sold to is like, Bria, you need a journal, you need a journal, child. I cannot journal. I do this. This is, this is this is the journal. I'm gonna try to put the videos out as quick as I possibly can because I just really want to get this out and just be, <sighs> I just wanna like be free and, and let go of, of this stuff that's been really heavy on my chest. Oh, no, I'm in the military. I'm in the military for 13 years and I'm, I wanna share my experience, but I don't wanna share it as a, so, a soldier in the military. I wanna share it as Bria. I know that there's gonna be moments that I'm emotional because this was a very traumatic experience for me. It has it has affected me in so many ways. So I will probably be emotional. There will be probably I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna cry on the internet again. But the last time was real ugly. It's been some time in between this this situation, and so sometimes I might throw a little joke here and there, but it's still although I'm joking, 
there's still is very this situation is very serious to me and has affected me a lot and we're gonna share this story so I'm starting the series and I'm gonna put everything in there the good the bad and the ugly this is my story on how getting my ass beat ruined my career Bria Bria goes by uh, Bria Nappy Taste on TikTok and she shares her story she has a second part to this where she continues on about her story and uh yeah she says she's may make a joke but that's maybe shielding from a lot of other things that's going on people's people do that when they feel like bottled up that they and they're trying to get it out they just try to make a joke to ease it on out through themselves you know so um go ahead it's your story to tell it tell it how you want to okay uh, also uh, a very traumatic experience. Her boy uh, abuser was named Bobby Giles. Bobby Giles, G I L E S. Okay, um, I did rec I did do a video on her maybe a month ago, and which originally told the story. I didn't even know that the story got that deep. What it was is, you know, I just react to videos. I see something, and somebody has a story to tell. I may listen to a few minutes of it, then I'll be like, all right, I'm going to go react to it. So everything that y'all see here, what I just watched, I watched it the first time with y'all. Like, that's just that's just, that's just how, how I roll. Okay. Now, I'm looking in the comments, and uh, it's people that are saying, you know, never tell a man your secrets. Um, never say anything, just leave. One person says, the dad told you to get home safely and you confront him instead. Now, she also says, so glad you made it out. But it's kind of, she's kind of right. Like the dad told you, get home first, then handle it. Leave her, the son. Um, another says, what's with the confrontation? You didn't understand the assignment get home safe ladies don't confront these people just leave disappear and the uh abria she she likes the comment she says uh, agree okay um uh, it was a video circulating recently where women talk about hey if a guy approaches me to ask me for his uh, for the number she just gives him the number and if and he, she gives him the right number, she said it's no nothing to block someone or ignore them. But she said my goal is to get to my car and get home. My goal is not to be chased or harmed by somebody because they I, I uh, turned them down. I rejected them. Some men can't take rejection. Bobby for one. Okay. His dad, some people call his dad the MVP. No, because first of all, the first time she spoke to the parents, they didn't, they didn't explain this. They didn't try to be like, oh, my son is this and that. They, no, no, they just, maybe he changed. Maybe he changed. Parents want to give their kids the benefit of the doubt in any situation. But she's going to talk about I'm going to wait for it when she talks about why he got arrested in Germany because I want to hear that story. Why he got arrested in Germany and she has to call her da the dad and the dad tells her like, hey, I see where this is going. I know he's been here before. I need you to get home safe first. Okay. For anything because he once believed his son could change and he knows his son didn't. She uh, he gets out she confronts him in the car and that's what y'all heard at the at the end of the first clip is them tussling well him doing most of the tussling um, and I believe this is the night that she was dragged in, out the car or dragged by the car so yeah it's a tough situation being in the military also makes it tough. Also, mil military um, 
being retained in the military, it seems like it says essential to preserving morale and unit readiness and to avoiding the costs associated with training replacement personnel in essential skills. I don't know. That that is I'm I'm pretty sure there's other other definitions for that that makes it sound a little bit more interesting and more true to to this situation. But we don't know. I, I'm not in the military. But military people are all on this page. Maybe y'all can tell me. I see military people in the comments. Sweet Pop, you in the military. What does being retained in the military mean? Please explain. But uh, also, she is getting a lot of male support from the military. Also, female support from the military. So, I think that I think I see why this is helping her speaking out to the camera and putting it out on social media. But I'm going to tell you, folks, this is not always the way this is not healing. This this may heal her, but you may not be her because people always say, yes, I'm healing. This heals me. But then you go and do some faulty, crazy stuff because you didn't heal from it. You just expressed yourself. Expressing yourself and healing is different. And if this is her way of healing, I know she says she's going to therapy. But again, I don't agree with it. Even though I do react to this stuff, I know it's not always right. I know people who do this to their family, friends, significant others. I don't think it's right, but I react to it. So... It is what it is. Everyday people, let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to holler at you later. Peace.